right guys, welcome to the video. Call me Panther. Wow. Here we have a me a solo versus a duo. This might have been a solo squad though. Later in the game. But as you can see, I put myself on the house immediately so I can isolate myself and not get sprayed and waste all my mats. And I had height, natural height basically. And I uh, wanted to separate them and kill one guy at first. And then while that guy's down, I can recoup, maybe let them try to get a uh, pickup and then attack them while they're in one box. Then here's a squad. This may have been the same game, I don't know. Sure. If I had six kills already. Just do this to test your limits. Be better, have fun, better reactions, quicker times. To get used to high sensitivities. And then, like, it's very best for me to So, here is all about peace control and practicing. I'll slow that down. I opened this up, I already had the wall, so that was my piece, and I picked the two walls, and I back up, he was two for so I was able to go I got three free shots off, basically. Here, you guys want to get used to, like, rotating all your guns. You don't want to empty your clips, you want to rotate, you keep track. And then I was able to get nice advantage with the pump. I'm always looking to get a headshot from any angle. So we need their head. So jump up, get their head, track them down in zone wars. Go really hard in zone wars when you can. And then in real matches, you know, decide if you need to go hard. You know, relax, calm down. You gotta go hard with everything if you wanna win the game. more peace control I worked. I'm just trying to listen. See where I this thing went. Yeah, I wanted to take that wall and start moving. Uh, here I've rotated all my guns. Like I was saying earlier. But I start with my shotgun uh, and my slots. But my, I start with the SMG, spread out a little bit. And I'm like, okay, first, first. Come back to the SMG, because I know after the SMG, I have my pump. Because I see it's white right health, pump time. Okay, here now, I'm going to show. Um, how you can approach tournament games here. This is a cash cup game. If you want to rack your points up and get to the end game, now you got to play like you're an animal out here hunting. You got to hunt. In Battle Royales, you have to hunt. Sometimes you get big game, you know, like a, a nice prize. Like, like a buffalo, like a good player, like a, that's a good hunt. Sometimes you're gonna take a rabbit, you know, somebody that's not good. But it's all about hunting. So you gotta go get your, get your weapons, and then you start stalking. You stack up your mats. Right now there's not a lot of metal in the game because of cars. So I like to go places where there's some metal and all you need is 500 and arenas so okay I'm flying into the yacht where I go a lot there's a lot of chests and you can land there and kind of get away if people come 
Now I kind of take note of who's coming here. People, I know the layout, so I know where the chests are. I know what I want to hit. So you want to go to your drop spots often, so you know where all your drops are, where your ground loot is, where your chests, where your ammo boxes are. That all increases your chances of survival. Once you survive that first three minutes, you should have a decent amount of stuff once you know where everything's at. In that first three minutes, you should be able to hit like five, six, seven chests, a bunch of floor spots. Sometimes it's RNG and you don't get a shotgun or AR, but we take that out the equation by knowing where the chests are. Now I'm just going around listening, trying to get easy mats and listen. want to be the most prepared at drop spot you go to and then go ahead and unleash havoc if you want if you're ready to w key but i personally play like a big cat and just stalk and look for prey and fly down on it Rotation. Now I'm looking around, see if I can drop in on somebody roaming. I see they're fighting back there. I'm gonna go fly back on that. I also saw a uh, fish spawn here, but wasn't there when I came back. action. If you're not playing those uh, zone wars or doing solo squads, it's going to be hard to keep up with these really good guys in Division 7 and up. Okay, here we got... Uh, Okay, someone was just fighting here, I was doing it. So I wanted to go check it out, somebody's gotta be hurt, right? Right on the cusp of the uh, circle, so uh, if I take this fight, it won't be too bad, I got splashes. So there's gone on in there, maybe some food. Always Take the person's cone if you're gonna start a fight. Third party. Should I just juice back up? I'm gonna come for that dude in a minute. Still got in the circle, so he's gonna be right there. Shoot my AR. 
finish him now. Let's try to him. You guys gotta know if you're gonna go in, go all in, or don't go halfway in. And if you're gonna back out, then halfway back out, back out. But that can all change in like 10 seconds. Or, this, or 2 seconds. But you just gotta know which one you're in. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. Oh, all right, I'm backing out. All right, now I'm going back in. Now I'm backing out. Because once you do that, you're telling your mind, like, too many things that you're not going to keep up with. And then you won't have the confidence if one or the other happen. But here, I wanted to juice up, but it's not always the time to juice up. Keep attacking. I knew I had to finish him. Nope. I had his back to the wall. I snuck in this box nice and cleverly. Here, we got a drawn out fighting lazy. Oh, I'm not drawing out. This was a uh, right off the spawn. Uh, we both had looted up. Kind of initiated a fight on the roof. He was ARing at me. Uh, finally comes over. Let's block that off. And then there's still two other places he can come in, but. Uh, Find a nice blue pump. Look around. You gotta use everything you see, guys. You gotta be aware. Gonna open that up for a big shot. Mike's pickaxe and didn't get one off. I knew he was gonna be in the back there, so I just let that shot rip early. So I knew his ramp was breaking. If you use your ears and get good bit predictions, like those shots become really easy. Much easier, not really easy, but easier. This is just going to be a couple of other skills you could try to mess around with. But you take that top row and look away from it, edit it, then jump. Thing works beautiful. But you look away so uh, the aim resets. Or it doesn't mess up your, uh, your edit. When you let it go, you got a good time to surprise someone. Here I use my high ground retake. Um, trying to continuously jump in this box. Cause I cut the corner real nice and I just slide in. Really How the hell that nigga just jump through that like that? Alright. Uh huh. <laughs> really great response by him. <laughs> the funniest, one of the funniest things I ever heard when playing. Here I break it down for you. The box up a little just to figure out where people were. But I hop out, make my uh, double ramp protection tunnel, spin around oh, on my ramp floor. Didn't notice he was there. Instantly make my box, go for my high ground retake. I put my double ramp there, he doesn't know which way I'm gonna go. Just makes him think a little bit and it gives me a block. Then I spin around, do it again, double ramp. Then I throw my cones. I try to jump in his box right away and box him up, as you can see, so we'd be in the same box, but I didn't make it in. So then, okay, I do it again. Same thing. I went to land on top of that ramp, so I was under it. But that's okay, I still blocked him. So instead I just go down the down a level. 
it and now we're gonna side jump and try to do it again. Oops, come back up. How the hell did nigga just jump through that like that? Alright. Uh-huh. 